Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by ComputerGarGar.com. In this video, we're going to look at how you can add some kind of ad hoc non-working days into your project calendar. So these may be occurred because another project has taken priority. So you may have had to suspend work for a, a day or two in a project, or maybe it's been caused by some kind of national celebration that doesn't normally happen. Or, or maybe because of bad weather, meaning that you cannot get to location. But something has happened, uh, maybe mid-project, maybe at a planning phase before it starts, uh, to mean that there is a non-project working day. It doesn't mean you're not, you're not working. It doesn't mean there's no work on this project. And you need to tell Microsoft Project this so that you can take it into account when scheduling your tasks. So we're going to go for the Project tab on our ribbon and we're going for change working time and down the bottom we have our exceptions tab which is where we're going to go for these exceptions these uh, unexpected non-working days okay or non-recurring work non-working days so the first thing we're going to do is enter a name for this non-working day so I might say that it is a training day. That is why it's not working. Now naming it is optional. You don't have to give this exception a name, but you know it's probably encouraged to do so so that people will understand if it is not obvious to them uh, why there is no work happening this day. Uh, especially in the future, they might forget that that was when we had bad winds or. Uh, you know, that is when we started running behind on X project, etc. Now we need to put in the start and finish dates. So let's say it's just one day. So I'll keep the start and finish date the same. I'll say July the 23rd, uh, 2014 is a non-working day. Finish date will change to match that. If it was going to be two days, I could change that to the 24th. Uh, and that is that. I do have a details button on the right where I can make necessary changes. Now in this instance, I don't need to do that, uh, but I'm going to click it anyway to show that. Because <laughs> when I click it, you can see uh, if this dialog box ever opens. That here we go. Um, it is already set to non-working. Now, if I wanted to put a recurring pattern or I want to change the working timers to be different, then yes, I'll need to come in here. But non-working is the default. So it's actually unnecessary for me to come in here in this case. I just wanted to demonstrate uh, why that is and what else you could do in here. For now, I can just click OK. What well, have got? 23rd of July. So that is now a non-working day. And on the Gantt chart, you can see the 23rd of July represented over here now as a non-working day. It's slightly greyed out. So a lot of this stuff will kind of be built into templates or done in the planning phase of the project. But you know these ad hoc non-working days can be added in at any point uh, they may occur for, for whatever reason. Hope you find this video useful. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel uh, and any other tips at computergaga.com.